Hey, I want to say my prayer to all my brother and sister who is in KwaZulu Natal in Durban. If there's a heavy rain and a lot of people have lost their life, and some of them they have lost their loved ones, they have lost their houses. And I want to say all my prayer. And apart from that, please, uh, if you face time or you always be here, leave a comments below and do please follow me uh, on uh, the Instagram Mtwana underscore Wabantu. Reason because there we have a very special program of feeding uh, the homeless. It's not only homeless because uh, it's not only feeding only that can be enough. Only we equip our brother and sister with the skills so that they can be uh, be able to employ themselves and have the independence mindset. It means they can create their own small business and feed their own and their own family. So do please go to Instagram and try to underscore a bunch. You can see what we do with the homeless. And it's not only homeless, if a brother will have a lace, you know? So because that's what my grandmother told me, always give back, give back, give back, give back. And if you need my service or you want to inquire my service, you can simply email me mtwana wabantu at gmail.com small letter mtwana wabantu at gmail.com all the link of all this information under the link below now let's get started so so after this video you're gonna be able to solve all this question right here look that one this this one right here this right here this right here try to go fast so we can solve all this question right here all of this okay now we go. So let's ask you this one, please. I like this. So let's say, um, which of the following are true? So what I'm going to do, okay, what I'm going to do, is a lot of ways you can solve this question. Um, face, look, this is two and this is two. Means I can cancel this two and this two. Means it's going to be one, one. So on the top, I'm left with a B minus A. And at the bottom, there's a minus means one times B minus A. It's just B minus A. At the bottom is negative, negative bracket, bracket. And here, because it's a negative here, A minus B. So what I can do, I can simply multiply that out if I want. I can say B minus A, just a B minus A. Put this in, it's going to be minus A and plus B, because it's going to be plus B, plus B, and then this minus is going to be minus times A, it's going to be minus A. This and this cancel. So on a, all this stuff equal to 1 because everything divided by the same thing you get to 1 1 because you cancel it cancel something it's like somebody say you have a divided by a means a and a is going to give us 1 1 okay if you have a x minus t and then x minus t they are the same thing so you simply cancel so same here these and this cancel so it's going to give us 1 over 1 so on the left hand side 1 over 1 equal to 1 so it means on the left hand side equal to 1 and the right hand side equal to 1 is 1 equal to 1 Oh yes, one equal to one. So oh yeah, this is gonna be the right answer. So option one is two. Now let's go to option number two. So option number two is the matter of substitution. The value of x equal to negative a half, the value of y equal to negative two. So here we're gonna say look negative negative bracket. What the value of x? X equal to negative a half. Bracket bracket square square minus minus four four. The value of x equal to negative a half. Bracket. Over, over. Y. What the value of y? Y equal to negative 2. And then here we have a plus plus y square. What the value of y? Y equal to negative 2. Uh, and square, square. So this one you can simplify. It's very actual easy. So either you can put in a calculator to save a time or you can just simplify it down. Okay, simplify it down and you can say, okay. Uh, eh, put a calculator. Okay, let's see. Some people don't know how to put a calculator. It depends on what you want. Okay, let me just do without with a calculator so you can know how to plug it with and without. Okay, let me do both so you can learn also. Okay, negative square equal to one, two square equal to four means because this square for both you have a negative out minus minus by two one. How many twin four there? Two negative two times negative one equal to positive two means going to be positive two. Over here is negative 2. Plus, plus. Negative 2 squared equal to positive 4. Now, negative and positive is going to give us negative 2 divided by 2 equal to 1. And this is going to be negative 1 over 4. And then plus 4. N now, let's start with this. Negative 4 plus. Negative 1 plus 4. Positive 3. Means going to positive 3. And you have a negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 over 4 means if you take 3 minus quarters, like 3 minus 1 over 4 in other words. Because this 3 is positive. I just switch it. This is going to give us uh, 2, 3 over 4. 
because take three minus quarters will be two three over quarter, which is true. Now we go to the last option. So A and B is true. Now we go for the last option. Yeah, the last option. Let's do the last option. So the last option is say uh when you write this math meaning empty, empty means nothing. Empty is not zero. When you say empty set it means it's not zero. Don't come don't use the truth. Nothing and empty is two different things in math. So this sign here represents empty set or empty. So let's say this equation here given is only gonna be defined for only x is empty. Ah, uh, to me, it's not true. You know why? Okay, look. Let's replace in a position of x. Let's put one and see. What is when I say dependent? Look, if you have let's say three divided by zero, this is undefined. You know, this is undefined because if you have a three, if zero at the bottom of anything means it's undefined, like x divided by zero. If zero is at the bottom, it's undefined. It's like let's say we as a human being. If there is no ground that exists on bottom of us, how are we gonna exist? We cannot exist. Means we need the ground or the land for us to work. So if the bottom is zero, means it does not exist or so is not defined. That's other way of saying it. Okay. So for that being said, but it could be zero over anything. Let's say y or five. That one equal to zero. What does that mean? It's like let's say this planet Earth. It can exist even without us, even without us. Means something can exist without us. Means that's why we say zero can be at the top. And this one gives equal to zero divided by. But if it's other way around, let's say x over zero equal to undefined. Okay? So now let's come back to the question because this was not part of the question. So you have to keep in your mind, right? So they say this function can only be defined only when x is empty set. It's not true. For example, if I plug one here at the bottom, it's going to be, let's say x equal to one. I mean, this is going to be one minus one, means the position of x equal to one is square root. And then on top, it's going to become one minus one. So what happened this? This is going to give us zero over zero. And since zero is at the bottom, then this is undefined. So for that case, it's not only when x is empty set. Even when x equal to one is undefined. And not only that. Look, if you have a root and you have a negative number, let's say three. This is undefined in math. Is undefined. Any number, okay. This is defined because you can square root zero. You can plug in a calculator, square root of zero, you're gonna get a number. But the moment it starts to get to negative, let's say square root of negative zero point five. Plug in a calculator, you're gonna see problem. It's gonna say error. Look, for example, square root negative three. Error. Because it should not be any negative, but when you start from zero and above, and then it's going to be defined. Give us. So, you see what I'm saying? So now we say this is not true. So, for that case, my answer is going to be option number for A and B. Now, let's go to the second question. The second question is which of the following 